Mayor Albers, thanks for joining me today. It's my pleasure. So I wanted to talk to you about the recent uh, meeting with the health ministers from Alberta and Saskatchewan. Obviously, healthcare affects just about everybody in our community in one way or another at some point. Um, so it is a huge issue. What were the key points that were looked at during this meeting? Well, as you started, healthcare is key to our our community, but even to the greater area. And the city of Lloydminster Hospital serves a, a large contingent of people for various services that they may not be able to obtain at their local hospital or at some of the smaller communities around us. So uh, that was one of the main points with the ministers is that the catchment area that the Lloydminster Hospital serves is not just the city of Lloydminster. It's a much greater area. And that's that was very much emphasized to the ministers. And I think they got that point very clearly. The other piece that we wanted to bring to their attention was there are some, some very lagging issues, and one of them is healthcare sharing of information. It's a huge challenge because with the two provinces, they operate different computer systems, and information has been a long-time challenge for a lot of people. We know people that have carried their health charts with them from one province to the other and back and forth, and really it's a challenge when you are a Saskatchewan resident and doctor in Edmonton potentially, or vice versa from the Lloyd Alberta side or the Alberta side and end up in Saskatoon. Uh, your information isn't available to your healthcare professional and they want to give you the best service. You want to reserve the best service, but how do we have that mean in the middle? Uh, I guess the unfortunate thing about that, uh, there's always so much red tape. I know Alberta has red tape reduction, but when you involve two governments, uh, you know, with things, how long could something, uh, you know, to resolve that situation take? Well, as it was referred to the ministers, that uh, former, 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 former health minister in Alberta said two weeks, and uh, I won't quote any names in any time frame, but it was really challenging, and I think our MLAs feel it each and every day. They hear about it from that perspective. Uh, work has been carried out in the Alberta legislature for legislation to allow for it to happen, but the regulations. So what we heard clearly was there are some other challenges outside of health care, namely the, the privacy commissioners, which have a responsibility to Albertans or Saskatchewan residents, depending on which province they represent. But at the same token, I think it's back to the point, it's our health information. I would want my doctor or a doctor or whoever was giving me care to have the best information possible provide the best service they can provide. And it's going to be extremely frustrating for our healthcare providers saying, well, shouldn't this information be available? And it isn't. So that was a, a point that was we're, we're very much discussed at length with the ministers of health. Uh, was the issue of doctor to patient ratios or anything like that discussed? Uh, I know when I first moved here, it was a little difficult to find a doctor, but luckily I have one now. Uh, so I was just wondering if that was looked at at all. It wasn't looked at at this time. That's raised on a regular basis with the Lloyd and District Health Advisory Committee, which meets with SHA and occasionally with AHS. And uh, it's been brought up, I can tell you, with other ministers and conversations I had, but that was not one of the items directly. We had an hour and a half, and that disappears fairly quickly when you get a group of people together discussing issues and trying to stay out of operational type things and looking at that much higher level where the ministries are responsible for Alberta Health and Saskatchewan Health. And a lot of discussion around the bi-provincial memorandum of understanding for healthcare services that were signed by former ministers and making sure that the ministers were aware that that document needs to be revisited regularly by them as well as their staff and the department staff to ensure that those roadblocks and the red tape you referred to are actually being being taken down and being resolved. And it's, it's a complicated file. The two largest provincial budgets in government are both healthcare in each of the respective provinces, but it seems that we don't always get that connection in Lloydminster. So uh, there was some discussion, I understand, about uh, rehabilitation of the hospital and possibly expansion. Uh, I mean, how many years down the road would that be? And it's probably needed right now. You're absolutely right. It's needed right now. Uh, there was a series of studies that were shared. The ministers have them uh, completed, I believe, in 2007, another one in 2013. 
you know, there's a lot of discussion about a refresh, and that's really, I think, where we're headed. Uh, how in-depth do we need? I think the ministers both agreed, or how, all four ministers, and three ministers of health, and our local MLA, uh, and the Honourable Colleen Young was there, as well as Garth Rosewell, MLA for Alberta, that th we need to get moving sooner than later. And we want to do it right. We're asking them to do it right. But in the same token, uh, you know, making sure that with the numbers, because we have the numbers, we believe we have census numbers to support it from the community through Stats Canada as well as the surrounding area and the information. So we're hoping sooner than later, again, it takes two provinces in that case to work together on budgetary and that was requirements and that was discussed. So I won't hold, I would be love to be optimistic and say 2025, we're going to see things happen. I hope it's not later than much later than 2025 and a real plans comes together and moving forward in 2026. But the identification of the needs of capital needs were identified. Problem is how much and the processes. And each province has a slightly different process. So there's some work to be done there. But I, you know, they got a commitment from the ministers. They're going to see the bi-provincial committee meet four times a year from two, which is key. Those are the Saskatchewan Health and Alberta Health people. I have that ple pleasure of sitting on that committee, as well as the ministers felt they should be there once a year, which I really appreciate very much from that perspective. I think council got that message as well, that it was important that they are sitting at the table once a year and making sure somebody is being held account because it's their budgets. It's not a city budget, it's a provincial budget. And we need to make sure that our elected officials and those that are in charge truly hear the messages from our community. Uh, Mayor Albers, um, you sort of mentioned it already, but uh, how do you feel moving forward after this meeting? I feel uh, reserved confidence that we've got the we've got the people at the table that can make things happen. Now it's always the action after the fact, but I think it was very clear that the ministers. It was the first time that I'm aware of that the ministers of health for both provinces have met face to face in this city, and the discussion wasn't about healthcare and provincial and federal relationships. It was about Lloyd Minster, so that brings me some reassurance that we're on the radar, as they often refer to it as. The question is, can we move the needle? And I think that's that's the important step. And it gave me some renewed confidence. Like I say, council members that were in present for the meeting heard the same message. We will be back to the ministers again in the near future, uh, uh, as, as often as regularly as we can be and say, Minister, how are we making out on that file? So it's kind of nice knowing that they they've been here, they've seen it, they've heard it. Now it's the action that plays with it. So uh, I'm optimistically confident that uh, we're going to see some action in the future. It won't be tomorrow or the day after, but certainly the wheels are starting to turn. All right, Mayor Albers, thank you so much for making the time to talk to me today. My pleasure. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks for following up on this very critical and key piece for so many residents, both in the city and the surrounding area that look to Lloyd Minister for those services.